Hey everyone, it's Karen from Fox in the Garden. Today we're going to talk chickens. So, as you know, if you watched my last videos, you would know that my chickens, unfortunately, were eaten. So I'm trying to come up with a plan to get back in action with the chickens. I really do miss them. But, this is my chicken area. So once upon a time, I had two coops and, and they lived in this square area here. So like these buckets lined where the chicken fence used to be. I would, I just used an electric fence, which was super helpful. I think it was called, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll tell you in a second. Um, but anyway, so this area was fenced off with an electric fence, a portable electric fence. It had solar power panel that gave it the charge. It was perfect. It was great, but I did struggle with a few things. One, this area, you can see it, it backs up against the big fence, and I was really unable to weed whack in between. So what would happen is the grass would grow up and then cause the electric fence not to work. So that was kind of a struggle. So I would like to take the chicken area out of here and then put it somewhere else in the yard. I think I have a good spot, but with construction and things happening around my house, it makes it a little difficult. But the first step to getting new chickens right now is making sure I have a safe and functioning fence. I live in a lot of woods, so having an electric fence is super important because my chickens will definitely get eaten. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here right now and show you my electric fence. This is the solar panel. Whoop. It was Premier One. Premier One is the name of the fence and the fencing. So um, last I checked, the panel worked. I just don't know if the fencing works because I think I definitely weed whacked some things at one point. Uh, so definitely gonna check it out. I'm gonna roll it out. I'm gonna hook it up and see if it works. I'll check with the electric tester. I might need to charge this thingy up first, actually. <laughs> Another thing I want to do today, these chicken coops are falling apart, if you can't tell, kind of in disrepair. So I think I'm going to try to pull them apart and salvage them. I also need to mow this area and get it prepped for when I do have chickens. Because right now, I think if we do one final mow, I won't have to mow the rest of the year. I also probably gonna take this crazy thing down, the bees and stuff like it. But what are you gonna do? This is goldenrod. They like that too. So I'll leave that and then we'll figure out what to do with this thing. Well, that's the goal for today. So I think one of the best things about gardens, especially if you've been in a site for a long time, are funny surprises like this. Do you guys know what that is? That's that's bok choy. It was my bok choy from probably last year. I guess I had fed it to the chickens when it had gone to seed and now it's here. So I will probably harvest this little tiny bok choy, maybe transplant it so it can grow some more and then sweet surprises. Okay, so I'm gonna carry this fence over to a different spot in the yard because the, so the way the premier one solar panel works is it has to get staked in the ground and that's of the yard as hard as a rock. If anyone's ever interested in a pier one, premier one <laughs> fencing system, it's pretty cool. So it's just this solar panel here. And then on the bottom, I think this is off. <laughs> On the bottom it has these stakes that get staked in the ground. You put the ground, clip the ground cable to it for grounding. And then you hook the hot one up to your fence. So there's the fence there. This fence can just be staked in anywhere you need it. It can be transported. You just roll it up and you carry it to your next spot. So if you wanted to move your chickens around your yard or something, it's the perfect Thing for that so I'm just gonna roll this out and hook it up it does seem like to it does seem like it's actually working I was afraid it wasn't gonna have enough charge but as long as the Sun's out it'll start charging so 
I'm going to do that. Roll it out, hook it up, see if it works. <laughs> Rolled it all out. Let's inspect the netting to see if it's all intact because I already see quite a few spots where I've weed whacked it or chickens have pecked at it or something's happened. Uh, so I just need, I'm just showing you how these nets work in case you ever want to try one. But here, let's take a peek. So you can see right here. Oh wow, that's a big old chunk of netting that's not together. So it's not the end of the world. The way these nets work is this black cable here is actually what is the conduit for the electric. So these are really just physical barriers and they're not going to affect the electricity going through. So what I want to do right now is really just make sure like all of these conduits, like you see here, that's a little bit frayed. So that might be of a concern or issue, but as long as all the black stuff is together, like there's one big line of it at the bottom that keeps the electric flowing. And, um, but as long as there's no severed lines like that, we should be good. And then what I can just do later is, I mean, all you have to do is tie this together. You can even burn it to like melt it together since this stuff is made of nylon or a plastic. So it just needs to be kind of mended. And that's really not a big deal otherwise. So I'm going to go through and just assess and make sure there's no real big issues. And then I'll put this into a circular position out here in the field and hook it back up to the electric. <laughs> what it looks like all set up. I could just have chickens out in my front yard, <laughs> but it's probably not the best choice. But yeah, so basically the sticks just go on the ground like that. They all connect over here at this point. So if we look here, there's these two little metal clasps. And all that you do is you hook up the hot end of the solar charger to these two metal panels and that will give you fire for your electric nut. All right, so I think we're ready. I hope this stand stands like it's supposed to. All right, so it's ready to go. So I've got the red piece, it's off currently. I'm gonna plug it in to these two metal pieces that I showed you earlier. You should be able to hear the charger working. These have to go together. So I have it clipped in. I'm going to turn it on. You should be able to hear a little click click coming from the solar panel. I have my electric test electric tester. So it should now be able to tell me if this thing was hot, maybe. Well, the electric tester maybe isn't the right one for this. I think this is a plug tester, but I got a little shock, so I know it's working. The shock isn't very bad for this. It's just meant for chickens. so. It shouldn't be bad. The question then becomes, is the charge actually running through the whole fence? Um, so I'm gonna attempt to see if I can figure that out. Okay, so I don't have the right voltage tester. I just realized that and learned about it. So I am not an expert in everything. I just am sharing what knowledge I have and kind of giving you what knowledge I learned along the way. So right now I know that your standard 
electric tester for a wall plug is not gonna work and I probably knew that but so you need a special tester specifically for these electric fences these solar electric fences in order to tell um, I was brave and just manually tested it myself and it turns out that the voltage on the fence is just very low so it has been sitting out in the open for quite some time so it just might be time for a new fence or I might try to troubleshoot it again but I'm thinking I'm just gonna buy a new fence and I'll probably solve a lot of my problems anyway so that's my adventures with the fence <laughs> I found something. Last week I showed you a little praying mantis I found on the fence. Actually, I think it was the netting. But anyway, so this is a praying mantis egg sac. This is not a native praying mantis egg sac. I'm pretty sure this is the Chinese version. And they produce some gigantic praying mantis, which are not necessarily beneficial for things because they can, they're so big, they can eat things like hummingbirds and whatnot that don't need to be eaten. So they throw the balance of things off a little bit. The, the native hunt, the native praying mantids to this area are green. And I believe the Chinese ones are gray. I could be wrong, but that's my really rough memory on that. Um, but anyways, usually I just squish these doodads because they're not very good. I've seen some giant ones that have eat, probably eaten because I have that uh, monarch or the milkweed vine up there and I definitely saw some large praying mantids prey on them so I will squish this one for today. Well I've never shot with this phone before but my last one was screwing up. So I think I got most of this chicken coop figured out. My goal right here, my goal right here was really just to kind of dig out the bottom and see if it was still intact. And it's mostly intact. I shook the most, pretty much the whole thing and it doesn't look too rotten. So I definitely think I can reuse this coop, which I'm pretty stoked about because I was looking into prices of coops and I was like, yikes, I don't really want to have to do that unless I have to. But I'm thinking if I just get the roof redone, like I was talking about, we should be good. Move it out there might be the trickier part. I might need some help with that. Um, and then get them set up. But for now, I think I'm happy. I just wanted to kind of clear it out and move some of the brush and things that have been growing up inside of it this summer because I've kind of neglected it. Get a plan of action for the coop. And um, hopefully in the next few weeks or so, I'll be able to get it all put together. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me today on Fox in the Garden. Join me next week. Maybe I'll be able to do some more work on this chicken coop. Not really sure what my next video is, but um, thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It definitely helps my channel out because I'd love to see it grow and like this video. Take care.